Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. So, it is Tuesday, and it's about 7 o'clock. So I've been over here at my storage for a couple hours. Just kind of been cleaning everything out, trying to organize some stuff. And uh, I was going through some stuff, and I found something. So whenever the battery died, I was trying to pop the trunk. And this trunk doesn't have the nice little pull switch. And so this is actually off of a newer Grand Prix, like a 04 to 08 style Grand Prix. But it's the exact same switch. And it has the same plugs on it. So I'm about to swap this thing out. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So it's pretty much got a 10 millimeter bolt here and a 10 millimeter bolt on the other side. And this whole thing will drop down. And then you unplug this plug, unplug this plug. And the uh, trunk key thing will just slide right out of the middle and it's off. And then you just stick that one back on there, put the bolts in, like slide the that bar right there. You gotta slide it through the middle right there. Slide it up in there, put your two 10 millimeter bolts back in, plug your plugs in and it's done. And then if your battery ever dies and you need to pop the trunk, or if someone ever locks you in the trunk, you can pop the trunk. So I'm about to grab my uh impact with the tin right there and get this thing off and i'll give you guys another uh, update all right so i got my two tins out so like i said that just slides off and then gotta unplug this plug here and unplug this plug up here now when you just pull that down and pull it out this one's a little more difficult you gotta squeeze it or use a flat head and push in right here and it'll pop it out so I'm going to get that out, and then I'll give you guys another update. Alright, y'all. So, I got the old one out. Got them unplugged. So if we set these next to each other, they are identical. Exactly the same. So, now we just take this one. I'm going to slide the bar through the middle. Lines up perfect. Then we're going to plug both our plugs in. Get the bolts in. Get it tightened down. Alright guys, it's just like that. Got both plugs plugged in. It's bolted down. Got that in there. And there it is. Now if I come up here, let's make sure it works. I still hear it. I wish I could pull the back seat down, but I got so much crap in here I can't even really test it. So it latches. And it pops. Awesome. Uh, that came undone. I'm gonna have to pull that out, retape that up, tape it better. But there we go. It took like all of five or six minutes, two 10 millimeter bolts, two plugs. I bet you can probably get this at the salvage for like five bucks. So. But yeah, I'm gonna keep cleaning this thing out. I just wanted to make that little video for you guys. So y'all stay tuned. Hey YouTube. All right, so it's the next day. It's uh, Wednesday. It's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. It was piss pouring down rain this morning and lightning. So we couldn't work. So our boss gave us the day off. And now it's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day. But I swam back over here by my storage, and I've just kind of been hanging out, haven't really done anything. And, uh, yeah, I got everything back in here yesterday, and so I guess today, I'm thinking I'm going to run over to the house, because I have that ZZP poly mount for the 07 that's coming in today. And then also the radiator, the ZZP radiator I ordered is coming in today. And then I think I have something else coming in today. I should have three packages getting delivered today. And so I want to run over to the house and grab all that. And then also a couple of days ago, the new tires that I ordered for the Grand Am got here. So they're in the shed at the house with the wheels. So I'm going to go get all that stuff and take it over to my dad's job. So they can swap my tires around for me and get them all balanced up. 
And then once all that's done, then I'll be able to bring them back over here and at least get the rears back on. I can't really put the fronts on yet, but I can get the rears on and get those bolted on so it's sitting on wheels. And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at for today. So I uh, just kind of threw a couple things in here, grabbed a couple other things. I got this gasket kit because I have everything sitting in the back seat of the parts car. And then I just grabbed this fuel rail and these other injectors. And then these supercharger injectors, I'm gonna post some stuff for sale. yeah and then uh, yeah that switch it's working great it actually works a lot better than the other one because this one I had on it before right there uh, whenever I would pop it it would like I don't know it was like it had a bunch of force so as soon as I popped it it was like it was relieved and it would like pop up a little bit and now that I've swapped it, it's just like, seems like the whole trunk just fits better, lines up a lot better. It could probably be moved forward just like a half an inch, probably not even that far. Just up a little bit, and it would probably make these gaps a little better. As you can tell, it's not 100% even right there. Or right here. That's pretty even on this side. But... Uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at and then uh, I don't know it since it's turned out to be a nice day if I have time I might start swapping some interior stuff from the parts car to the 97 Like I said my main focus is I want to get this done, but I'm just I'm at a standstill right now until I get another engine for the 06 and I can pull the engine out of this then I really can't make that much more progress on this thing except for that engine mount that's really it so I've got everything I'm gonna reuse sitting here and then got the headers and down pipe sitting over here uh, before these go back on this engine I am gonna take these to the machine shop I have a brand new set of valve seals I got brand new valve springs with brand new modified retainers like I've got everything to redo these they have all brand new AC Delco plugs in them so yeah I've got to get those taken to the machine shop and then also so on Friday in a couple days so I was looking on Facebook and someone in the Grand Dam group I don't remember who it was but somebody posted like shared a listing this lady in Ohio has a body kit for it's off of an O2 Grand Am and it's red same body style but hers was a coupe and she's got the front bumper and the rear bumper and they look fucking sick and she's in Ohio and it's like an 11 and a half hour drive one way for me but she wants 250 bucks for the front bumper the rear bumper and the side skirts and it's all already painted red and I mean, you can tell my bumper, it's got a big hole in it here. It's cracked up here. This trim piece here was pulled off like down to here and I just super glued it back on. It's still not 100%. But I mean, I, mean, I just know like this bumper is not the best. The rear bumper is pretty decent. But the front bumper, it's definitely not the best. And I think with everything else I'm doing to the car, if I get those bumpers, Get that body kit and put it on here. I think it's going to make the look of the car way more aggressive. So, that's probably going to take most of my whole check this week. And, uh, but it's all good. Because it's going to be worth it. So, yeah, whenever I leave, either on, I don't know if I'm going to leave Friday night or early Saturday morning. <laughs> But whenever I leave, I'll definitely take you guys along with me for the trip. And, uh, yeah, you guys can see this body kit. And I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm excited about everything. And then uh, on my 07 pre, uh, like I said, that trans mount and that radiator are supposed to be being delivered today. So as long as all that stuff comes in, then, I mean, I can't really get into the other storage right now because the door is still broke. And 
my buddy Ray that works here at the storage, he doesn't he doesn't want me getting in there because that's what happened was I got in there and the door came off of the track. Like this whole piece came out of this track. And the whole door fell over. And if you've seen the other videos, I've got the engine on the subframe sitting like right inside the door. When I pushed the door up, this whole thing went past these, see these stoppers. It's about stoppers there. Well, on the 07, it went right past the stoppers. It went up and fell over and landed on the engine. And it busted the throttle body. It scuffed up some shit. I don't think the damage was too bad, but it definitely broke the throttle body. Which, I don't know if you know the Series 3, instead of it being cable, it's got an electronic throttle body and it has that plug that plugs in and it just completely busted where that plug plugs on. So I'm going to have to replace the throttle body. I don't know if they're going to cover that on insurance because, I mean, that wasn't anything I did. That was just their door broke and it fucked up my shit. But it's been like a month and a half and they still haven't fixed the door. So if you guys are wondering why I haven't really recorded too much stuff on the 07 here lately that's why because my doors broke so yeah i've been kind of just over here trying to focus on the grand am and i'm only been doing the 97 just because i'm still daily in it and i have to have a car to drive and that's the whole reason why i did the rack and pinion and the lines and the pump and all that and then actually i was just looking of right before i started this video under the hood and uh, the power steering pump is actually spraying fluid all over that side of the engine over there. <clears throat> so it is down a little bit on fluid. And, but I still got that gallon jug in the fucking trunk. So I can keep topping it off. But yeah, this pump is going out. This is my original one that broke a couple weeks ago. Or last week, whenever the fuck it was. I don't know, I've had so much shit going on, y'all. But, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be the update for today, for now. And so, like I said, I guess I'm going to run over here to the house. And I got to clean out the back seat and clean out the trunk. And try to load up all four wheels and all four of the new tires. So I can get everything over to my dad's job. And we're going to get some tires swapped around today. So, y'all stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, YouTube. So, I'm over at the house. It is... Thursday and uh, so I got went and picked up my wheels and tires I went and dropped off yesterday got them all mounted and balanced so now they're all good to go all four these are all 225 35 ZR20 Lexanis cost me like $800 to finance these tires and then so is the, the uh, ZZP radiator and I'm pretty sure from like i just looked it up on online on zzp.com this actually looks like it's the 04 to 08 style uh, radiator which is what i need for the 07 so uh, that's really what it was looking like so it was cool he had it packaged pretty good in these uh packing peanuts so yeah and then uh i got the uh the poly transmission mount yesterday it's in the shed <clears throat> yeah so i've got to get the jack and get some tools out and i'm going to go ahead and put these wheels and tires on here because tomorrow after i get off work i'm leaving to drive to ohio so i want to make sure i have good tires so i'm not going to have any issues with anything and go from there so yeah uh, i'm going to get in the shed get some tools the jack and everything and Get these things swapped around and then i'll give you guys another update all right youtube so i've got the tools i've already got all the other three swapped this is the last one i just want to give you all an update so i'm swapping these things so nice and balanced shout out to my dad's job cecil's tire and jinx for getting these done for me on just walk in just short notice so I'm just going to get these uh, lug nuts back on here and 
I'll give you guys another update. So y'all stay tuned. It's on. I just kind of pull it forwards and backwards and I want to be able to adjust these looks like that needs to turn in a little bit it looks like that one needs to turn in a little bit so I'm gonna adjust the tie rods and it's like the wheel straight so all right I'm gonna adjust these things and go from there all right, you guys, so I just did a little ghetto alignment and I kind of straightened it up as best I could and then move forward and backwards. Steering wheel stays straight, so it seems to ride pretty straight going forwards and backwards. So I'm happy with it. Hopefully it'll do me good on the trip to go get the body kit. So next thing I got to do is I got to put all this shit back in the shed. I gotta pull out this uh, passenger seat to make room for the body kit. So I'm probably just gonna pull the passenger seat and maybe this rear cushion on the back seat for now and clean out the back seat area to make some room. So I'm gonna get this stuff put up and then I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys, so another update. So I pulled, these are the factory supercharged lines that I had on the 07. And these fittings are too big for the radiator. So this is not the 04 to 08 body style radiator. But it's okay. It'll still fit. It'll still work. Um, if anything, if uh, the 04 to 08 fans won't fit on here, which I think they will because the 04 to 08 body style ZZP radiator has these brackets for the fans to slide into. And I'm pretty sure it's about the same mounting location here. But, I mean, if I if this will fit in there with the uh, the other engine <clears throat> in the 07 Pre, then I'll just use these and I'll pull this harness off and just use the 07 harness to plug in because it looks like they're the same plugs. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the radiator. So that's the update on that. And then here's the ZZP poly mount. It's in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of some stuff, but I mean, it's super solid. So that's going to be awesome for the 07. And then so right now I'm about to pull this front seat out. So I just got to grab my, I think that's a 13 or a 15 millimeter. And grab the impact and zip those out. And then I can pull the seat out. And I'm going to pop this back seat out, make a little more room. And then that's probably as far as I'm going to go tonight. So y'all stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, you guys. So I got the seat out. So these two bolts here were just a 15 millimeter. So I just used my 15 millimeter socket and the impact, zipped them out. And then you slide the seat backwards. You have to grab the bottom and rock it forward, and it's got little hooks that go in right here and right here. <clears throat> As you can see, those little hooks on both sides. And those just kind of hook in, and then it swivels down and they lay flat. So you got to hook these in first when you put the seats back in. And so now I've got this little handy dandy. Uh, car back so I'm going to vacuum this out real quick with this little vacuum and just clean out the uh, the car get all the shit out of here and I did have to uh, unbolt the seat belt it was just a 15 millimeter nut right here so I'm going to put the nut back on there so I don't lose it and yeah I'm just going to clean all this stuff out pick up all the trash throw it away vacuum the car out and be good for the night so y'all stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated all right, you guys, so I just got over here to my storage. The car drives really well. It drives pretty smooth. I think I need to adjust it just a little bit more on one of the sides. Like this thing, yeah, this side needs to, looks like it needs to come out just a little bit more. But I mean, the steering wheel stays, stays straight, so 
I'm happy with it so far. I'm going to adjust that side over there before I leave. But uh, I wanted to come over here and just drop off this radiator and fans. And I just want to drop off some of this stuff so that way it's not over at the house. And then I'm going to leave the back seat, the bottom part. Uh, I'm going to leave it down here for extra cushion for the bumpers for the body kit whenever I go get the body kit. And they can kind of sit like this. And I'm going to take a blanket with me so I can put one in here and throw a blanket over it and set the other one. So then that way they're not scratching each other up. And if I need to, I can put that other battery in the trunk. I just want to take another battery for just in case. Just in case I have some issues. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm about to just pull these cooler lines and pull all this stuff out. And I'm going to throw it in the Grand Am storage for now. But pretty much all this stuff is for the 07 Pre. I just, the door is fucked up right now still. And I can only open it like a quarter of the way. And it's a pain in the ass. So I'm just not going to fuck with it right now. But yeah, I just want to give you guys another little update. And I mean, shit. I'm really happy with the wheels and tires. They're going to be so awesome on, on the Grand Dam. So, they'll help me out good for this trip out there. It's going to be like 1,500 miles on this set of brand new tires. And I'm really glad I'm, I swapped them because the ones that were on here were bold as fuck. Like, on one side, one was a little bit of tread. But the one on the passenger side, it was bold as fuck. <clears throat> so, at least now, all of them are, they all look the same. They got four matching brand new brand spanking new tires and they're 40,000 mile tread wear tires so as long as the alignment's good then they sh shouldn't wear out yeah see that one's definitely turned out a little bit that one's still pretty straight so yeah I'm gonna have to adjust that before I go so I'm gonna put you guys down to quit rambling on and probably just gonna take that radiator and just set it back over there for now and then probably head back to the house so I can get some sleep. So, y'all have a good night, and I'll give you guys another update tomorrow after I get off work. Hey, YouTube. All right, so, it's Friday. I'm over here at the Grand Am Storage. So, I got the wheels and tires put on last night on the 97 for the trip. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be leaving in about four hours or so, around like 8 or 9 o'clock. I just got off work and I came over here to my storage because I'm trying to to double check out this uh, alignment because I don't want to wear out the tires prematurely. Eight hundred dollars in tires here, so it definitely looks like this side still turned out a little bit, and this side's turned out the opposite way. Whenever I'm driving, it drives pretty straight, but the steering wheel's turned to the right just a little bit. Like, so right now it's straight. Whenever I'm driving it, it goes to about like that. And I want it to stay in the middle. So I'm just trying to adjust these a little bit more. Try and get this thing going straight before before I leave tonight. Because like I said, I just don't want to wear out the tires prematurely. So I'm going to just adjust these a couple times. And I'm not taking a whole lot of stuff with me. I am taking the jack. And I have a donut underneath. I'm taking the power tools. I'm taking this bag of tools and the jump box. I'm taking an extra power steering pump and some belts. And I got my belt tools and some power steering fluid, some antifreeze. And I've got some blankets back here just so I can throw blankets over the bumpers and. I've got the back seat out. It's actually sitting over in the passenger floorboard. So that way I can kind of wrap the bumpers around like this. And then throw a blanket over and try to stack them together. But have a blanket in between them so it doesn't scratch them up. And yeah, so that's kind of kind of the plan. So hopefully they'll they'll fit in here. I mean they should. I put the, the 06 pre, 07 pre bumper in the 06 pre back seat. So... <clears throat> It should fit, especially with having the passenger seat out. So I'm just going to adjust these front wheels out a little bit more. And then I give, give you guys another update whenever I leave 
tonight start heading out to Ohio. So y'all stay tuned. I keep you guys updated. Hey YouTube. Alright, so I'm on the road. I'm headed to Ohio. I've been driving for about two and a half hours now. Getting 26.2 miles a gallon right now. Running about 71, 72. I don't know if you can see the uh, heads up display, but it matches perfectly with my GPS speed on Google Maps. So I'm just cruising along. Been getting pretty good gas mileage. I'm already in Missouri. And I've got about an hour to go until I get to my first stop. It's a gas station, so I still have gas by the time I get there. I'm getting really good mileage. But <clears throat> yeah, I just want to give you guys a little update. And so I'll keep you guys updated as I keep going. But I need to pay attention to the uh, GPS, so y'all stay tuned. YouTube so I'm at I'm at my halfway point I've been driving for about six hours I got about six hours left I'm getting 24 miles a gallon I'm running about 72 73 that's cruise set so I just want to give you guys another update and it's pretty dark out here I'm still in Missouri um, not really sure about where, what town I'm by, but I'm just cruising along on the highway, so I'll keep you guys updated. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, YouTube. Alright, so it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I've got 4 hours left, and I'm just tired. I've done work the full day. I got a Chicago, Memphis, two miles so but yeah I worked all day like a nine and a half ten hour day and I've been driving for eight hours now and I'm just tired so next rest stop or next gas exit I come to I'm gonna exit I'm gonna take a nap for like an hour maybe a couple hours and then whenever I get up then I'll drive the other four so I just want to give you guys an update I'm still getting 24.4 miles a gallon still getting good gas mileage so let's see we got uh, Interstate 57 South towards Memphis or I-70 East so I don't know which way I need to go, so I'm going to go back to my GPS and I'll give you guys another update whenever uh, I wake up from my nap, so y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, so uh, it's morning, it's like noon or 11, something like that. Uh, I slept a little longer than I anticipated, but I'm up, I'm back on the, on the road. I am now in Indiana. And I'm still like just under three hours away from getting there. So I just want to give y'all another little update. I'm on half, sitting on half tank, getting 22 miles a gallon right now. Since I started driving again, it's got to like re-go through because it resets every time I turn the car off. <laughs> so uh, yeah, not too bad. Just cruising along trying to make it so I'll give you guys another update whenever I make it closer so y'all stay tuned all right y'all another update I just went through the the state line into Ohio so I'm now in Ohio I was trying to get my phone but it's so fucking slow it wouldn't load in time or open a camera in time to get the sign that says welcome to Ohio so I don't know maybe I'll get the leaving Ohio sign but probably not so, I don't know, I got like 45 minutes and I'll be there, so I'll give you guys another update whenever I get there. Alright y'all, so I'm here. Look at this lip. This thing goes so far back in there. There's a couple little blemishes, but nothing major. 
some scratches on the bottom side. But I'm super happy. So I just gotta get him in the car and I'm headed back to Oklahoma. So y'all stay tuned. All right, you guys, well, I just loaded it all up. I got her in here. It's the best I could get it was this rear bumper is hanging out the window. So I'm just gonna have to cruise roll like 60 the whole way back so I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how it turns out alright you guys so I'm still on the way back I'm about 4 hours away from Tulsa so I'll keep you guys updated right now I'm still in uh, Missouri passing St. James Missouri right now you guys so I made it back last night I've been sleeping all day but bumpers are in the car I did not get to make it over to my storage like I said I was tired so I've been sleeping so I'll go drop these off probably tomorrow so I'm gonna go eat something I'm probably gonna go lay down and go back to sleep but I've got the body camp for the Grand Am so Hopefully it's not raining tomorrow and I'll go over to my storage after I get off work and I'm going to try to test fit these. So, but the body kit made it. So, super stoked you guys. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated. Alright y'all, so it's Monday morning. I overslept. It's like almost 11 a.m. So, I just took the day off work today. And my boss wasn't there anyway, so I'm going to take this body kit over to the storage. And at least get it out of here and stick it in the storage. And uh, I need to swap some wheels around and shit today, so that's going to be the plan for today. So y'all stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update once I make it over to my storage. Alright YouTube, so I'm over here at the storage. I've got the bumpers out. thing looks pretty good it looks like it matches the Grand Am really well I really I want to pull all this out and test fit it up here but I just got so much shit in the way right now all this engine stuff and all this up here and so I guess for now I'm just gonna try to fit this stuff in here I'm probably gonna take this bumper and set it back in here I'm going to have to move the headers probably under the car. I'm going to have to move the radiator and stuff, I guess, over to the 07 pre-storage. Maybe I'll stick them in this box. But yeah, I definitely need to move some stuff around. So that way I can get the stuff fit in here how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to get some stuff moved around and then I'll give you guys another update. Alright y'all, so I just got the front bumper stuck right here next to the car. It's a very tight fit. There's a little bit more room on this side, but I got all this stuff right here. I don't want to move it all yet. 
So I got the front bumper stacked over here. I got the rear bumper sitting up on top of the cherry picker. I mean, I was kind of just looking at it. I mean, it looks like this paint matches very well. So hopefully I shouldn't have to have this repainted. I might have to anyways, just because it's so damn beat up. But <clears throat> then again, this one's pretty beat up too. So like I pointed out before, but it is what it is. I think this is going to look good on here. So now it's just going to be getting all this out of the way sometime and getting that front bumper off there and test fitting that one. So I don't know, maybe I'll come back after a while. Say it is a really nice day today. But uh, I've got a few things I got to get done. I need to go renew my license. I've got to go pay my car insurance. So I'm going to go get some of this stuff taken care of and I'll give you guys another update here in a bit. Hey YouTube. Alright, so I'm over here, back over here at my storage. I'm at the 07 pre-storage. So the uh, the guys are actually here to fix my door. They're just working on another unit right now. So as you can see here, when the door fell, it landed on the throttle body here and broke that. It landed on the motor mount here. <clears throat> it also landed here on the belt wrap there we go so yeah you can see the scuffs there but other than that overall it looks it looks fine it just it broke the plastic on the throttle body there and it just scuffed to the paint or the powder coat uh, with a little ding on the pulley also but still, it's not the end of the world. It'll still run. So I'm still just waiting on AN fittings. I haven't been able to get in here to check all the sizes of everything. And so that way I can get the fittings ordered. And I also need to check out. I need to see what these threads are down here for the transmission. So I can get AN lines for the transmission cooler to run that external trans cooler. So that's kind of the plan with that. So right now... I've got to go over to the Grand Am storage and I got to get the subframe and everything off of the cherry picker so that way I can bring the cherry picker over here to move this out of the way because it's definitely going to be in the way for them to pull this down and replace it so I've got to get this moved out of the way so that's what I'm about to go do right now so y'all stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated all right you guys so I'm over here at the 07 storage so they got the door fixed so that's great news so I just kind of dove in and started working so I've got the uh, poly mount right here so I'm already in the process of swapping it out I just threw a rag on the jack and jacked up the trans a little bit to take the pressure off and just undid the bracket pulled the bracket off and I'm using a wrench to get the nuts off the bottom side because the control arm is in the way I'm not trying to take all that back off again. So, then once I get these uh, two nuts off the bottom side of this, then the mount will come off, and then I can slide this mount on there. <clears throat> and then it just goes back together. So, y'all give me a few minutes, and I'll give you guys another update once I get this mount off. We have it, the old mount, or actually it's a brand spanking new mount. But I got the nuts off, so now that's off. So now, see, I'm pretty sure that one goes to the bracket. Yes, yeah, it won't fit. So I got to take these two nuts off here. And I'll put so that goes on like that. And then these two will go on there. I'll get those tightened down. And then my bracket goes back on with these two nuts. And with these 
bolts. And there's all four bolts and all four nuts. Now I can just take my impact. Oh. <sighs> all right, so now all those are done. Now I can let the jack down. Sorry, and I can let the jack down and then I'll put pressure back on the mount now just got to tighten these all down Ooh. and that's all it is to swapping out the mount it's a lot easier when it's out of the car like this but even when it's in the car, it's still pretty easy. You just pull the uh, driver wheel off and pull the plastic back, and it's right there. The only thing is, whenever it's in the car, you only see about this much. So these top two, you have to use a, a long 15 wrench and kind of snake it down from the top between the frame rail and, you know, get the two top ones out. And it's kind of back and forth. The ratchet wrench really helps when it's in the car. So even with it being out of the car like it is right now, a ratchet wrench would really come in handy. But I done broke mine trying to use them to break shit free. And they're kind of expensive. And I just haven't bought any more. So that's alright though. I'm using this regular old wrench. It gets the job done. There it is. There's my poly mount. Totally worth the hundred dollars. I think it was like ninety dollars shipped. So to me, that's a a great deal. So at least now I'm making a little bit more progress on the 07 pre. It's not just going to be sitting now. Now that my uh, door is fixed. Woo! And there we go, just like that. Mount is on there. So now I can let the jack down. And there we go. Now she's sitting pretty with that poly mount. Love it. So now I'll be able to use this mount, since it's brand spanking new, I'll be able to use this as my engine mount on the Grand Dam. So that needs to go over to the Grand Dam storage. Uh. And yeah, and then I also, I grabbed the uh, ZZP radiator. I've already swapped everything around and got it in here. Now, this is not finalized. These bracket, these are the factory brackets I was just kind of test fitting it in here so it does fit in here the um, AC condenser does not bolt up to the back side like it does on the factory one so I don't know what to do about that and then the factory 07 fans they slide in down here but it puts the bolt hole way up here instead of down here where it needs to be so these are the 97 to 03 fans. Uh, it looks like they kind of stick out a little bit too far though. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to run these, especially with the headers. So I don't know. Uh, I might have to do the super slim fans. So I guess we will uh, see on that a little bit later. But for now, the... The radiator is in there, the DZP radiator, and 
it at least bolts in. I'm just going to have to do some different kind of bracketry that will bolt in here and, and hold this. Because the one that normally goes in the middle, I have it sitting over there, but the bolt hole's way up higher. Like it puts the bolt hole way up here instead of down here where it needs to be. But I'm super happy with uh, with the progress. It's now I can finally get some shit done actually on this thing. So Oh, lots of progress. I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. <laughs> so, uh, also I ordered these. These were like 20 bucks off of Facebook. And they came through Amazon. But yeah, these are just some spark plug heat shields for the plug wires. So I'm going to end up... It came with eight of them for ls but i'm going to use them on here just use six of them and i'll have a couple backups in case one gets ripped or something and then as far as the dog bones it looks like i'm just going to have to sand this down and repaint these two maybe this one it got a little scratched up but not not as bad as the actual mounts that go to the uh, radiator support so i know i'm probably going to have to change the throttle body i mean i could probably still use that it doesn't look like any of the pins got damaged but that will definitely if it gets wet it's definitely not going to seal correctly so i don't know i'm still not for sure what i'm going to do with that yet i guess we'll cross that road whenever i get there like i said i've still got to order other fuel line fittings and stuff so i'm still not even for sure how this is gonna gonna go yet so y'all stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update here shortly. Hey YouTube. Alright, so it's the next day. It's Tuesday. So I'm over here at the Grand Dam storage again. So I'm going to try to test fit this bumper. So I've, at least I've got to pull this bumper off. So I know I've got a 10 up in here. I have the 10 on this uh, splash guard right here. And then these three tabs here. It's already undone down here. And so once I undo those, and then undo the ones on that side, then it's just these three tabs, or four tabs up here. And then I'm pretty sure this bumper should just come off, because I've already taken all the, all the radiator stuff out, so it shouldn't be held on anywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting this front bumper off, and I'll give you guys another update. Alright you guys, so I have the front bumper off. As you can tell it's not the greatest but it is what it is and then this is like the crash support bar that goes behind the bumper and it was already all busted up as you can tell so I'm just taking all the the pieces of it off that way there ain't nothing on there nothing in the way and I'm gonna grab that and try to test fit it on here and hopefully none of this shits in the way uh, I guess we're going to find out, so y'all give me just a minute. Let me get these uh, old pieces of this old crash bar off, and then I'm going to throw this uh, front body kit bumper on here and see how she looks. All right, you guys, so I've got the front bumper on. It's a little messed up right there. It doesn't fit the greatest right here under the headlight. Or on this fender so on the inside of my fender this bracket is all bent to hell it just bolts on there and it's supposed to bolt on right here but it's just not even lined up so that's why this side isn't lining up right I just take my whole fender and move it so once I get the correct bracket that'll bring it up and it'll sit a lot better around the headlight and it should make it fit a lot better right in here. So the other side fits pretty pretty good. I mean, it sticks up a little right there. But then once I have all these in, that should push it down into place. Like I said, this side lines up pretty decent. So this side's all right. Now I just got to... I want to try to mount that back in there how it's supposed to go. Like so. And then I just have to drill some holes for the little 
plastic pieces to poke in there and that should be able to get all hooked back up the only thing I'm not gonna have is fog lights so I'm gonna have to zip tie these up and take the bulbs out or something which kind of sucks because I really like having the fog lights but I just don't know how I'm gonna mount them so not a big deal but I'm happy it's, it's looking good that looks really good and the red matches really nice I mean it's not 100% perfect but I didn't expect it to be perfect so but man I'm really happy with it that looks that looks pretty good so uh, I guess next things next is probably trying to get that uh, plastic piece back on I mean it's gonna come all come back off because I've got to fix that fender bracket but which means I got to get another one which isn't too difficult it's just like I said two or three bolts so yeah I'm uh I guess I'll look on the parts Grand Prix and see if it if it's similar similar bracket and if it is maybe I can just rob the one off the parts Grand Prix so I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how it goes but I just want to give you all an update so y'all can see how the the new front bumper of the body kit looks so y'all stay tuned hey YouTube all right so it's the next day I'm over here at the house the parts Grand Prix and um so yeah the bracket it's not really the same it bolts on completely different so I'm gonna have to go to the salvage yard and pull a bracket so probably gonna go tomorrow and oh yeah and I changed the wheels took the chrome 20s off the 06 so that way I'm not burning up my brand new tires I just bought for the Grand Am. I just wanted to have good tires for the trip. And these aren't balanced either, so I need to go have these balanced sometime. But I think that's going to be it for this video. And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for more. Like the videos if you like it. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.